QM2 Lynch was the leading petty officer when I got there, but he left the Navy to go fight in mixed martial arts. Cool Breeze became the lead, he was an E4, and the only quartermaster qualified to stand watch, which forced Walker and I to get qualified as soon as possible. Like a lot of qualifications in the Navy, as soon as you check in, the clock starts on your qualification. If you go over the time the Navy thinks you need to qualify, then your command will most likely suspend your liberty until you get it done. Seaman Walker spent most of his time on board shipping paint, and I'd been at the bottom of the ship since checking in. We both got a break from our duties to study for the testing and oral board needed for the qualification. It took time to understand the nuances of being a quartermaster. It came natural to Walker, though. His math was on point. What would take me minutes to figure out, he'd do it in seconds. Seaman Walker was 18 years old at the time, and I was determined to beat him in the testing and the oral board for a quartermaster to watch. Our new chief checked into the frigate along with Junior, another quartermaster. Chief was an LCAC pilot at his last command. He wasted no time in his tasking. First was examining my work. We all went down into the pit to look at the stacks of charts. Chief looked at the stack of charts and the log, which was up around 2,800 charts at the time. These won't work, Chief said. You've been wasting your time down here. The charts were out of date, which meant we needed all the charts replaced, folded, labeled, and logged. Chief and the navigator guessed which charts we would use for our deployment and ordered every chart along that potential path. They ordered over 3,000 charts. Our quartermaster of the watch qualification board was held in our chart room. Chief and the navigator were in there before the board, scheming. Walker and I waited outside in the bridge. You want to go first, I asked. You scared, asked Walker. So I went first. Chief and navigator smoked me for an hour. I walked out of the chart room. How was it, asked Walker. Easy, dude. Walker goes into the board and comes out in half the time I spent in there. We both get the qualification, but I had to redo a few sections, the ones with the math. Chief and the navigator thought it was a good idea for me to focus on more rudimentary navigation tools such as the Navy's beginning quartermaster manual, as well as Dutton's. Dutton's is a Navy-produced book made for children or right-brained sailors. Lots of pictures in Dutton's. The math equations a quartermaster uses more than any other are time, speed, and distance. Distance equals speed multiplied by time. Speed equals distance divided by time, and time equals distance divided by speed. At sea, you'll have more than enough time to break these math equations down and get them right. But the closer you get to land, the faster you have to be. If you're good at this, you can break time, speed, and distance down in your head. These gray lines are depth curves, contours of the sea shelf. Look for a parallel number on these lines. That number is how deep it is there, and everything towards the shore is more shallow than that number. These lines or any light blue shading on the chart is a heavy indicator of possible danger. It's called shoal water. There's things in here, buoys, obstructions, rocks, sunken ships. Closer to shore, all on deck become quartermasters, scanning for other boats, looking for seaweed that the intakes will suck up. Looking for trash, light towers, sea world tower. Closer to shore, closer to danger. Closer to shore, use your best tool, your eyeballs. You'll turn at the light tower. When you're parallel with sea world tower, you have 100 yards before your next turn. Use your computers, but don't trust your computers. Trust your eyes. You'll always want to use electronic means to find your way. It's easier. But those ways will fail you in the military. Water will get into your screen, or your boat will get shot up. You'll have to trust your eyes when it happens. If you suck at math like I do, use cheat sheets. Are we gonna stop though? Stretch the legs?
You want to buy a crystal? Saturdays, Aravaca downtown. Morel's going to be selling them. One dollar a crystal. Is that a good price? Yeah. One dollar per crystal. Hand picked.